Ellos dicen que bogotanos no son amables, son muy fríos. I like the people from Colombia, but from here, no. Why do you think that is? ¿Eres sola? Sí. ¿Y eres fría? No tengo dinero. Solo tengo amor. Welcome guys. I know you're usually used to me making videos in Medellin, but I've been given a very awesome opportunity actually to fly around all of Colombia for the next two weeks. Santa Marta, Cartagena, uh, Salento, the coffee triangle. During my time, I'd like to show you some other places of the country that you might want to visit. And the first stop on that list is the capital city of Bogota. I'm just going to spin this around and show you a bit of this beautiful square here it's the main plaza of Bogota the city is often misunderstood what do I mean by that I mean not many expats come here there's not a big digital nomad community here everybody seems to flock to Medellin Colombia as a whole is actually very uh, misunderstood but I feel like Bogota as a city itself is even more misunderstood they call this place Colombians call this place the fridge La Nevera de Colombia the fridge of Colombia because it's cold but as you can see today it's beautiful this is probably as good as you can get in Bogota so we've got a perfect day today this city has seven million people Medellin only has two and a half million so this is three times as big and it can be kind of overwhelming if you don't know where to go if you don't know what to do but I'm in the main a tourist area right now called La Candelaria. If you come and stay somewhere, probably should stay here first. All the hostels and hotels uh, in this zone. Everyone always told me, even my Colombian friends said, don't go to Bogota. You can go there, visit a couple days, but it's not where you want to stay. It's cold and the people, more or less, are very cold too. They're just focused on their work, their business. It's a capital city. So it's not like you know the coast or Medellin uh, where people stop and have time for you and talk to you so that's one thing I kind of want to debunk today I want to talk to a few people and see if they actually are as unfriendly as everyone else says has really a very different vibe to to Medellin where it's all you know it seems it attracts a different type of expat and a different type of local as well the locals look very very different here went to a few art museums and stuff yesterday seems like the people are more focused on arts and culture here is what i heard from a few of my expat friends who have actually lived here for a bit whereas in medellin it's kind of all about the the party lifestyle reggaeton things like that whereas here's if you like arts and culture it's maybe a bit more european this place so i'm actually trying to convince my girlfriend she's like one of the many colombians who doesn't like bogota either she said it's cold people unfriendly why you want to go there I said, hey, let's give them a chance. Let's see what these people have to say. Don't listen to the stereotypes and come and make up our own minds. So guys, give this a like and uh, tell my girlfriend that we should move here and, and find out about the people from here. There's some sort of demonstration. The indigenous people are holding signs here and protesting, I guess, on the steps of the Colombian parliament house or whatever this is, I guess. You can see those signs. Hola. Hi, how are you? Good, good. Good. How good. Are you? good. Do you speak okay. uh, Spanish? I do speak Spanish. Cool. I do speak English as well. Oh, awesome. Where are you guys from? I'm originally from Chile, but I live in the States and she's from Colombia. Oh, cool, cool. I just uh, was wondering what are these people protesting? Or uh, I guess it's a, some sort of protest on this is protest, the Parliament this, House? It's a pro this is a Parliament House. Okay. Congress. Yeah. And as they're protesting about uh, protecting the rights of the, the, the Indian community. The indigenous people? Yeah, one group. In okay. This, this, this country has so many, uh, so many uh, uh, groups of Indians all over the country. Okay. And I, no, I'm not familiar with that specific group, but uh, they say something about protecting the rights and keeping the uh, culture. Okay. Don't let the government um, uh, influence on decisions of the pertinent to just them. Okay. And basically, it. So they. Uh, I guess they're their old kind of culture and they want to keep their yeah. um, beliefs and values and yeah, the government correct. wants to change correct, that. Correct, so that's correct. what they're protesting yeah, yeah. here. Correct. Okay, cool. They, uh, yeah, I mean, uh, at least it's the Pacific one. <laughs> yeah, and you're from Chile? I'm originally from Chile. What do you think about uh, Colombia? It's 
a beautiful country. Yeah. But uh, like like all the countries in Latin America, they, they have been mistreated over the years. Yes, yes. Well, enjoy your time. Yeah. You Ciao. Thank time. you for uh, providing some context. Okay. Uh, pleasure. Ciao. And when I say take care, I mean it. Take care. Absolutely. You too. So these guys, like a lot of the indigenous or Indian communities in many places in the world, uh, want to keep their own values and beliefs, but uh, the government obviously has their own ideas and has their own rules. So, hey, what can you do? In every part of Colombia, they have a name for everybody. It's not like in the US where people from California are called Californians. People from uh, New York are called New Yorkers. People from Boston, Bostonians. Uh, here is very different. For example, the people of Medellin are called Paisas. People uh, from the coast, this one actually makes sense. The coast like Santa Marta and things like that, Costeños. Uh, people from Bogota, Rolos and Rolas. Uh, what does that mean? I don't know. One thing I've actually seen here is a lot of tourists. I am very, very surprised. I honestly didn't think many people come to Bogota. I don't know if these people are just coming because the flight lands here and they walk around for a couple of days and leaving, or they're actually staying for a while. But hola, no gracias. Uh, lo hice ayer. This guy is a tour guide, historian. He's going to give us some info about what's happening. ¿De dónde eres, amigo? Eh, de La Guajira. La Guajira. ¿Tú sabes qué? Uh, mi novia, ella uh, nas, nació en Medellín, uh -huh. pero creó en La Guajira. Ah, se, que, la se crió en La Guajira. Right. Yo soy indígena, Guayú. Indi ¿Cuál es tu nombre? Eh, Luis. Luis, from La Guajira. He lives now in Bogotá. He's giving tours. He's a historian. 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 Yeah. You studied history. Sí. How many years you studied? Uh -huh. How many years, quantos años estudiaste este historia? Historia, dos años. Can you tell us a bit about this, this area? Okay. Uh, this is Congress. Okay. Uh, Congreso de la República. Mm -hmm. uh, senadores, 110 senadores. Fundada, uh, 20 de julio del año 1846. Estilo greco-romano. Y una pregunta. Muchos de, de colombianos dicen que rolos y rolas son muy fríos. ¿Es la verdad o no? No. ¿Qué te piensas? No, son muy humanos, son, son, eh, son más abiertos, eh, les gusta platicar y por cierto son más educados. Ok. Sí. Am amigables. Amigables. Entonces, ¿por qué la gente dice que ellos son muy fríos? Pues es como la opinión de cada persona. Ok. Y, y cada persona da una conclusión de lo que ve de una persona, pero no todos son iguales, algunos sí. son tímidos, otros son fríos, otros son de buena actitud, pero en general son buenos. Si alguien quiere... Hello. Hello, how are you? Hello, my friend Luis. Hello. <laughs> the best tourist guy here. Right? Is the, what a, you have a tour thing too, why are you not the best? So guys, if you want to come get a history lesson, come with Luis here. <laughs> He's in the square. Gracias, amigo. Okay, thank you. Ciao. Ciao. Let's try and get some, some food, guys. All this talking about history got me <laughs> hungry. This is my favorite snack. I'll show you. In in uh, Latin America, platanitos. Exactly. ¿Cuál es tu nombre? Manuel. Manuel. Eres de aquí. Eh, Venezuela. Venezuela. Cool, cool. Yeah. This is basically fried plantain. Is it dulce or sal sal salado? Sal eh, mejor. Quieres limón y sal o solo sal? ¿Qué es típico? Es limón y sal. Okay, bueno. limón y sal. Vámonos. Okay, he's putting some lemon and salt, and this is uh, there's two versions of this uh, platano. There is sweet and salty. Today I'm getting the salty version. Cuando llegaste aquí en Bogota. Un año medio. Año medio. Y saliste de tu país porque la la crisis. Sí, sí, sí. Y te gusta la vida aquí. No tanto como la de nuestro país porque las costumbres son muy distintas, la cultura, todo eso, pero uno se, se va adaptando. Tú vives aquí para sobrevivir. Para sobrevivir. ¿Qué tú piensas sobre rolos? ¿Son eh, amigables o...? Son, son amigables algunos y otros no. Ok. Porque hay mucha xenofobia contra nosotros. Ah, uh, sí, es difícil, ¿no? Sí, es difícil, pero no todos, no todos como tal. Sí. Un 100%, un 40% son 
bastante o sea, jodido, como decimos nosotros. 600 personas o bien. Sí. Sí, escuche ese también porque tengo muchos amigos y amigas uh, venezolanos. Ellos ah, dicen sí. que uh, venezolanos tienen un mal nombre en Colombia Colombia, porque sí. un poco, poco por ciento de, de venezolanos dicen cosas malas. Sí, sí. Mucha gente de nosotros viene a trabajar pues, con sí. nosotros que trabajamos. Y... Pero para sobrevivir, como tú dices, pues hay que sobrevivir y trabajar. Salimos de temprano a trabajar, pero no está, no está fácil. Ahorita los días no están fáciles. Espero que la situación mejoró y puedes uh, regresar algún día. Sí, algún día. Gracias por esto, amigo. Sí, sí chao. Sí, eso, that's the story with many of these shop vendors you'll see here in Colombia. From what I've seen, not many of these guys selling stuff on the street are actually um, Colombians. To be honest, most of them are Venezuelans because they come here to escape what's happening in their country. Very corrupt government, their currency, the Bolivar, completely devalued. Every day, people like you and me couldn't afford to live anymore and the rich politicians got richer and richer. Many of these people you see today selling things on the street, selling souvenirs, they will be uh, Venezuelans. Uh, that's enough sad stories for, for now gonna get into this and then we can walk a bit more I've never had this with salt and lime before so let's see how it is oh man I need to go back I didn't pay the man <laughs> oh my god he didn't say anything either that's very bad I'll show your channel yeah pana no te pago no te pago, oh my god, Dios mío, horrible. Qué pena, qué pena. Sí, ok, espera. Uh, qué pena, amigo. Tranquilo. Olvide todo. Uh, ¿Cuánto cuesta esta? Cinco mil. Cinco mil. Okay. Okay. Amigo, diez para usted. Para ayudando. Ah, muchas gracias. Gracias, de verdad. Ok, qué gracias. pena otra vez, sí, sorry. <laughs> ok. Oh, gracias. Chao, amigo. Chao. Ok, if you buy food, pay for it. Do not just walk away like an idiot. Oh, I have a performance here. It's a little kid doing something. Let's watch this and uh, I can have some time to eat my delicious uh, patanito. Y la verdad es que yo quiero que ustedes me oigan. La verdad es que a mí la gente me pregunta por qué yo no canto reggaeton. Y la verdad yo les digo, porque a mí no me gusta ofender a las mujeres, porque las mujeres se hicieron para respetarlas y quererlas, no para decirle cosas feas. Muchas gracias. As you know, like um, hip hop and things like you guys have in the States, very offensive to, to women and uh, that whole culture is, uh, you know, kind of a problem. So this kid just said he doesn't do music like that because he doesn't want to. Um, talk about women in a bad way. So I respect this guy. Let's see what uh, his performance is all about. And this is what uh, kids should be like these days. Give us kids a bunny. Did an awesome job. Me gusta lo que dijiste sobre por qué no cantas reggaeton para el respeto de mujeres. Sí. Muy bueno. Gracias. Eh, ¿Quieres decir hola? Hola. ¿De dónde eres usted? De Venezuela. Venezuela. Cool, cool. Amigo, me gusta mucho tu canción. Sí, sí, gracias. Que Dios bendiga. Gracias. Venezuela, again. It seems like uh, all these people uh, selling things, uh, fighting very hard to get, get ahead in life. Venezuelans uh, and going at the the theme of this this video a country misunderstood uh, Venezuela is one of the most misunderstood people that there is in this time especially because a few people did some bad things and now it seems like the whole country has a bad name hola mime que mas 
Ah, uh, this guy he can't talk. What's your name? Colles? Okay, okay. Amigo, uh, no tengo dinero. Solo tengo amor. That was a lie. I actually do have money. I want to buy some more food because I want to show you what type of stuff they have here. By the way, this platanito, delicious as always, lemon and salt. Can't really taste the lemon. Salt is necessary or it's going to taste like cardboard. But best snack there is like potato chips, but tastier. Are you final hour in restaurant? Aguacate vendors. I'm going to see those everywhere. No, God. No tengo hambre. Huh? Australia. 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 Colombia? Vivo in Colombia. No le gusta. Yo vivo. Sí, mucho. Sí. Solo vine para. ¿Qué le gusta a Colombia? ¿Qué? ¿Qué te gusta? Me gusta la gente, la calidad humano. Es muy fácil a conocer a personas y hacer amigos aquí que en Australia. Gente en silla. Tratable. Gente en silla se dice aquí. ¿Cómo? Sencillo. Sencillo, sí. Mi australia habla en inglés. Sí, inglés. Solo claro, inglés. pues. Sí. Pero habla bien el español. Gracias. Yo vivo en Medellín. Ah. Yo estoy en vacaciones aquí. ¿Ustedes son de aquí? Bogotá. Venezolano. Y venezolano. Y venezolano. Venezolano. Colombiano. Todos son venezolanos aquí en este calle. ¿no? <risa> Todos. Tengo una pregunta sobre rolos para ustedes. Rolos y... Bogotanos. Sí. Bogotanos. ¿Te gustan bogotanos? ¿Te gustan los bogotanos? ¿Son amables o no? No. ¿Por qué? No. De pronto no ha dado, pues lo que pasa es que hay gente, pues eso hay de todo, en todo el mundo hay de todo. todo. Mundo, pero aquí sí. los, no los, los, los rolos son más aquí, son muy creídos. Ah, o sea, sí. ellos piensan que son millonarios, ah, que viven ¿qué? en la capital. Mm. ¿Ah? Sí, no, tienen papi, este. No sí. Ah, sí. Mis amigos colombianos me dijeron lo mismo. En Colombia tiene muchas personas muy amables, excepto en Bogotá. Son muy fríos. Es sí, sí, aquí no. La verdad. Aquí te despertían porque tú eres venezolano, este, te dicen que, que, que no sirve para nada, que, que esto, que lo otro. Hey, qué mal. Pues, amigo, es que, es que hay que aceptar sí. una cosa. Yo no soy, yo no soy colombiano, soy del Caquetá. Ajá. Pero es que, digamos, si, si tú vas a hacer daño a otro país, te hace quedar mal a ti que vienes a trabajar. Mm. ¿Sí o no? Y aquí viene, es como nosotros los colombianos. Yo porque yo soy colombiano. Sí. Yo me voy, digamos, para allá y me pongo a llevar el coca. Sí. Sí. Eso hay de todo el mundo, weón. Sí o no, hay en todo el mundo y hay, hay gente que lo hace quedar mal. Bueno, well, if you want to come here, come to Bogota, very near the main square. Come and see my friend here, help him out. Gracias, amigo. Chao. Thank you very Merci. much, my friend. Yeah, you I speak, speak English. I speak English too. Are you speaking? All Venezuelans always speak English. You're very yes. well educated. You are living in uh, in Colombia, in Colombia, but in uh, in. Medellin, Medellin, yeah. Medellin. I want to visit Venezuela, but it's... What about the people from, from Medellin? Very friendly. Too. But the people here are not friendly. That's what I heard. I said... Uh, that's my video is about that today. today I, I I'm don't like the out. people from here, from Bogota. Okay, you know. I, 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 like, I like the people from Colombia, but from here, not. The, the, from okay. another, another city, yes. Why do you think that is? Because they think they're better than everyone. Uh, the people here is... No. no. All Venezuelans here, everywhere. Uh, I want to try and find someone from Bogota. We can ask them why they're so unfriendly. <laughs> but it seems to be harder than uh, than I originally thought. Okay, so we need to maybe talk to someone who's walking around, not working in a shop. Because it seems like everyone working in shops is Venezuelans. And uh, let's have a look at this market quickly. Quick, quick stop. Okay. market here for i guess it's all cheap stuff let's see all the stuff they're selling here souvenirs great spot for souvenirs if you want to get some uh things for the fridge what are they called magnets hola ¿Cómo estás? ustedes son de donde bogota ah, perfecto we found some from people from some rolos yo vivo in medellin y tengo muchos amigos uh, colombianos ellos dicen que bogotanos Rolos no son amables, son muy fríos. Falso. Dime, ¿por qué? ¿Por qué? Ellos dicen ese y es la verdad o no? Yo que no. Por, ok. Dime un poco sobre Rolos. Ok. 
que pues eh, por lo menos digamos o sea esto como tal es una ciudad sí que a veces estamos como muy o sea como que la gente está ocupada Ajá. está estresada y todo eso pero más allá de eso uno está como dispuesto a pues ayudar ¿no? como a orientarnos y mucho pasa que o sea, digamos la persona pregunta como no sé dónde queda esto entonces uno les dice como no, que haya amablemente okay. Pues por lo menos nosotros somos así, okay. así. Pero sí, como te digo, okay. muchas personas están como en el estrés del trabajo Sí, porque es el capital, Exacto. el movimiento es muy rápido No Exacto. es como costeño ah, <risa> sí. ah, Tengo cita a las 1, voy a ir a 3, 4, no importa Sí, Exacto. sí, Exacto. Okay. Okay. En cambio aquí digamos también el transporte público es súper así Entonces la gente anda como, también con mucha desconfianza mm. Pero igual uno es, no todos somos iguales okay. Entonces por eso no digo que no es cierto Ajá. entonces tú aquí encuentras todo tipo de personas pero Ajá. la mayoría estamos ahí como para servirles sí. claro con la disposición de ayudar entonces es la verdad si, si digo que bogotanos rolos son muy amables pero de pronto necesi necesitas tener un poco más tiempo con ustedes eso, para conocer eso. no es como Medellín en primer vez oh, es amigo bla 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 sí. eso. porque ustedes eso. son un poco más ocupados no tiene tanto tiempo para hablar con todos los extranjeros o todas las personas Exacto. en el mundo, ¿sí? Exacto, okay. así tal cual, perfecto, no lo pudiste decir mejor. That is a perfect answer, um, and that's why uh, in some places you go, they are very misunderstood, the people, especially here in Bogota. Uh, you need to spend some time with very friendly people like this. What's your, ¿Cuál es tu nombre? David Castro. David Castro. Paola. Paola. Some friendly Bogotanos rolos, rolas, I see. And uh, you need to find out for yourself. Don't listen to everything you see on the internet or everything that people tell you because it's not always the truth. But gracias. That's what I wanted. Perfect. We got the answer that I was looking for from some locals as to why they're very misunderstood. Guys, it's not like the coast here or Medellin or other cities where it's kind of they live at a very slow well slower pace than here this is a big city people have things to do hola ¿cómo estás? people have hey you can see already people are very friendly saying hi to me they have things to do here they have meetings to go to this is a uh, a business place this is not a beach people sitting around hanging out all day drinking cocktails people here in hola ¿cómo estás? Uh, people here in Bogota are working, as you see here, everybody working, working hard, so that's why they need some more time to get to know you, and I just won't be talking to every single person who's in the street. But uh, let's keep going. That was the market. Go there, uh, spend some time. Um, one of the best places that I really like to go and... Uh, hormigas. Hey, I want to show you guys this. So that girl is selling hormigas. What is that? What is hormigas? Ants. And uh, no, that's not a fancy name for a type of food. That's actually ants. <laughs> They're from the region of Santander here in Colombia. And these ants, people eat them for, can you guess? Why else do people eat weird things like tiger testicles and weird shit like that? Aphrodisiac. So if you want that, you can come here and you can eat some ants. You can spend the whole day here just walking around to all the shops and you can probably spend like 10 bucks here and have a really really nice time so we got basically everything that you want to buy here shoelaces I'm not sure who's buying shoelaces on the street as i said before Bogota uh, is a city very well known for its culture and art and you can see it on every corner here this is one thing that i don't really see anywhere in medellin uh guys selling art eres artista yeah Pin pintaste este? Este es el Quijote en vale 350. ¿Tú, tú hiciste este? Yes. ¿Cuánto vale este? Tre 350. Ok, so that's 350,000. So a piece like this, that is what? Uh, like 80 bucks. So if you want a souvenir to take home to your country, you can come here and grab some uh, art made in Bogota. Gracias, amigo. Ciao. I know I've been basically talking the whole time showing you guys around how about we just watch the sights and the sounds of the city for a minute or two and you can experience kind of what it's like to be here
acabando, terminando, culminando, culminando. 10 pasos, mil. 10 balas de llanto, 10 pasos, acabando. 10 mandarines, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, it's the first place that I landed when I got to Colombia. I stayed like two, three days, and I had the same feeling as uh, those people were talking about before, that the people from Bogota are very focused on their work. No one's really got time for you. No one's really saying hello. So didn't feel that welcome, so that's why I went to uh, Medellin. But I actually started here, and I actually stayed in this very zone the first couple of days that I got here. So I would say to everyone, uh, it's actually, much better than I thought the second time around. It really changed a lot my opinion of this place. When I went on that tour yesterday and um, saw a little bit of like the nooks and crannies of the place and uh, understood a bit more about the city. And it seems like this is uh, very much a melting pot of all types of people. Maybe a bit more of an international city than uh, Medellin. A lot more to do and restaurants, museums and things like that if that's your vibe and that's what, get, what gets you off. That's why you like to travel. Bogota has a lot more options than Medellin, my friends. In terms of music and things as well, Medellin's kind of just like reggaeton. But here it seems like there's a lot more to do and that makes sense because there's three times more people and the city is absolutely huge. I just realized as I was walking, I need to visit a camera shop to uh, get some extra batteries for, for the next few days of filming. And guys, this is a camera shop in Bogota. If there's no people from Bogota working here, then I give up. <laughs> here we are, camera shop. Damn, it's a nice camera. Amigos, eh, eres de aquí, Bogotá. Bogotá, sí. Tengo una pregunta para usted, si está bien. Tengo muchos amigos colombianos y ellos dicen que rolos son muy fríos. ¿Por el clima? Son muy fríos, no son tan amables. Sí. ¿Es la verdad o no es la verdad? Yo creo que sí, sí. ¿Sí? ¿Eres rola? Sí, también. ¿Y ¿Por eres el clima? fría? ¿Por el clima? No, yo no tanto, pero la mayoría de gente sí es diferente. Sí, ¿Por qué? Vez. ¿Por qué son así? De pronto también por, por la desconfianza, porque acá, sí, Bogotá, por ser también la capital de todo, eh, yo diría que es un poco más inseguro también. Okay. Y desde pequeños o sea, a uno lo crían diferente. En cambio, en tierra, en caliente y fuera, pues es más, no sé, más chévere. De pronto yo no tanto porque puedo decir, ¿me estás grabando? Sí. Porque, <risa> porque, mi familia, porque mi familia no es de acá de Bogotá. Mi no. familia, mi mamá es santanderiana y mi papá hoy hace Entonces tengo como un copino. Ok. Entonces no tienes la, la fría que no, tiene. No, okay. no, no es tan rola como es. Pero tú sabes que rolos son un poco más sí. Sí, cerrados, más, ¿sí? Más fríos, más distantes, más sí. One thing I did want to talk about was safety. A lot of you guys are wondering about safety. Come to Colombia. I think everyone is going to kill you. Everyone is going to scam you. Not the truth. Hi, hello. Hello. How is that? <laughs> Everyone's very friendly. Everyone wants to be on camera. But one thing I will say about safety, I, whenever I film in a new city, um, I always ask a local, hey, is it cool if I walk around with my camera and talk to people and film? So I asked the guy at my, uh, like the concierge at my hotel, and he said, I basically, what the question I said, hey, is it, is it safe if I walk around with my camera? And his reaction exactly was, eh, depend there which means depends where you go he said if you just walk around this main area you just walk around this main area the tourist area it's more or less safe if you go off any side streets um, not so safe and I said man is that basically the same as Medellin uh, and he said yeah more or less the same so uh, yeah just be aware of where you are don't be walking in just random places if you look like a gringo, which I don't even look like a gringo, but I guess I look like a tourist. I was very worried about this when I first arrived in my first couple of days because like many of you, I heard about Colombia's dangerous, everyone's trying to rob you and kill you, cartels, blah, 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 blah. I was very put off by the fact, and I've traveled a lot, I was very put off by the fact that everybody's staring at you. Um, 
but I think it's more of a curiosity thing it's not that you know they want to get you or anything so just get used to that just smile anytime someone's looking at you don't be confrontational and you'll be fine and ask around before you uh, go somewhere ask a local most of you guys are going to be staying in a hostel or hotel or something ask a local hey can I go to this place is it cool don't just blindly go like a lunatic I hope you've learned something today I hope you have seen the different sides of the city don't believe everything that someone tells you don't believe everything that you read there's good people everywhere and there's something for everyone everywhere the next stop where I'm going I'm flying to Salento which is the coffee triangle of Colombia best coffee in the world and that's the next place where we're going to be talking to a few locals and showing you guys another part of Colombia see you next time